Morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.15, and this is Wednesday morning, the 4th of February, and it's video number 1605. Uh, first of all, let me remind you that today's final action uh, will tell us whether we had a uh, rally or not, a uh, Santa Claus rally or not, uh, but it's so close in either direction, it really doesn't matter. Um, Asia slightly higher, Europe slightly lower. Uh, Europe's concern is the same as our concern today, which is the FOMC minutes that come out at uh, 2 o'clock. We've already seen the uh, mortgage apps down 13.2. That's a number that actually even surprises me. But at the same time, we have one of the leading real estate uh, companies in New York saying that apartment sales fell by 29% in Q4. Pretty substantial. Um, as I mentioned uh, in a couple of my videos of late, uh, you'd really be surprised just how fragile uh, the economy is in New York based on year-end bonuses that really haven't happened this year. Uh, Microsoft downgraded at UBS, trading 234 and small change, down five and a half dollars, 2.2 percent. Uh, Apple, as market cap, is currently less than two trillion, which means that and eight dollars and you can buy yourself a starbucks coffee um, the fact of the matter is on the way up i said it was useless information and uh, so i feel the same way on the way down um, amazon borrows eight billion in anticipation of economic uh, headwinds not really sure why that matters um, you know amazon has kind of a negative borrowing cost since it takes in your money when you make it a purchase and then turns around and waits 30 to 60 days to pay manufacturers. Uh, Rivian missing their number for the quarter, same as Tesla, uh, except that uh, Tesla was uh, added again by Kathy Wood yesterday, and the stock right now is uh, up a dollar and change. So, you know down 17, up a dollar and change. Yeah, I could see how that makes sense. Uh, CRM, Salesforce, 10% of the company in layoffs and charges involved. Uh, and on that news, the stock is higher. Uh, it was uh, 139 and change, up 433 when I came in. Uh, and currently let's just take a quick look here it is now 140 and a quarter up 547 or about four percent chart on the screen is the bonds um, again set up uh, i'm gonna have to go with this probably has more to do with flight to safety and economic slowdown than any real reason to see this kind of a rally uh, we were up uh, yesterday pretty strongly and today we are up one and 16 30 seconds so that's a point and a half at 127 uh, i think that we're going to run into some resistance right in here around 129 um, but uh, this also might be a little bit of a flight to safety uh, because what surprises me, and I mentioned it last night, was the fact that uh, the dollar and bonds generally don't move in the same direction. The dollar was up uh, 1% yesterday and uh, it's down about four tenths of a percent, but with interest rates. Uh, with the bonds moving uh, up another point and a half, uh, it surprises me that the dollar isn't a lot weaker. Uh, oil continues to fall down 242 at 74 and a half. This is an area that should provide a little bit of support 
of, on the consolidation area where it has stopped, you know, basically in this 76 area uh, and then in the 75, below 75, but up on the high of the day, running, running into resistance in here and falling and of course coming right back down to that 175 area, 17405 area. So, uh, you know, this is where it should hold and I would probably be a little bit of a buyer of energy. And wow, net gas is up four cents. In the last three weeks, net gas has been down in excess of 10% per week. And right now we're up 1%. So pretty ugly there too. Uh, gold is up three and a half. Silver is up nine cents. Copper is down uh, a nickel. And it too is getting right back into an area of support again, right on uh, this 100-day uh, MA. Uh, let me bring this up a little bit closer so you can see what this looks like here. We have been up and down, above and below the 5 to the 20-day MA. Um, and, you know, basically it broke back to the downside yesterday. Uh, and so we'll have to see if this area holds. This is a really big area, this uh, two, uh, 370 range. We had a meaningful breakout here. We had a meaningful move higher. We are down below. Um, it's really worked its way into uh, a bit of a uh, an apex here. And but it was in fact stopped by the 200 day MA again. All right, everyone, uh, plenty of information uh, coming out today. These are, you know, meaningful numbers with the ISM manufacturing and jolts. But again, of course, the biggest uh, action will take place around the two o'clock uh, FOMC minutes. Uh, Dow continues to rise a little bit. It's up 113 right now. NASDAQ is up 101. And uh, the S&P is, uh, let's see, S&P is now up about 20. Have a good day. Be careful out there. I'll be back later.